Hello everyone, it is I, Mike V. In today's video, we're going to showcase, we're going to take a look at the Spin and Go tournaments here on PokerStars. We're going to browse through the lobby, uh, check out everything, uh, and showcase to you guys what there is. And we're going to play a game. Uh, I will be showcasing both the real money and the play money lobby. Uh, we're going to explain how the game works and whether or not you should play it. So let's get started. Okay, so I am on the Spin and Go lobby here on PokerStars. All I have to do is just find the tab right here on top, and it'll take you to it. And as it explains here, uh, Spin and Go is a fast-paced three-player tournament. Uh, once three players have registered, a random draw decides the prize pool. So uh, this, is good. this is a pretty action-packed game. We're going to go ahead and scroll down to the regular buy-in. So these are the standard buy-ins that you would typically find. If, if you're playing on a different poker site, uh, it may go by a different name. Uh, sometimes people will, dis when they discuss on a poker forum about spin and goes, they usually just shorten it to just spins. You may see the term jackpot sit and go be used as a generic name. But yeah, so we're going to go ahead and check out uh, a sample buy-in here. So if you click on one of them, uh, you'll be able to, I believe, I believe you hit the play now button. It's the first time actually viewing the lo this new lobby. Uh, but alternatively, if you hit the little information icon, it'll bring up some important information about uh, the particular game in question that you're interested in. Uh, so you got the buy-in, the number of players, uh, the starting chips, which is 500 chips, uh, and any time bank you may have, in addition to the allotted time you are normally uh, allowed per, uh, during your turn. Uh, you can see the prize pool distribution right here, so as well as the probability of that prize uh, land uh, being being landed on. So most more often than not, you're going to see a a prize of double your money. Uh, <laughs> so for a one dollar tournament, that'll be two dollars. Though and and it's uh, out of one million, it is uh, four hundred seventy seven thousand. Uh, times out of a million. So about 47% of the time you're going to get $2 to land up. Though about 39.6% of the time it'll be it'll be triple your money, $3. And then with a decreasing probability, uh, you see the higher numbers appear, $4, $5. And then by the time you get to a $10 prize pool, 10 times your buy-in, you'll notice that you'll see prizes appear for second and third place as well. All the way up to a maximum prize of 10,000 10, times your buy-in for first place. And even, and even just spending the top award will grant even uh, the third place winner uh, some, some, con uh, some pretty good consolation prize as well. And as for the level time, you'll notice that at the lowest prize, the blinds go up every two minutes. But if you get to one of the top uh, multipliers, you get as much as five minutes uh, uh, of, uh, of bl uh, before the blinds go up. So more time, uh, a much slower uh, progress of the tournament for the higher uh, prizes. And then here on the right-hand side, you can see the blind schedule. So blinds start at 1020 and go up. Uh, as as accordingly uh, as shown, and so that's pretty much the same uh, gist for the other buy-ins. Let's say ten dollars. It's probably going to be the same here, same multipliers, and yeah, same same distribution of prizes and probabilities. Uh, though actually, it seems that the uh, the higher the buy-in, actually, the probability uh, for say triple your money goes up goes up further and if, let's say we go to the hundred dollar buy-in for example yeah for the hundred dollar buy-in you actually are slightly more likely to get three times multiplier instead of uh, instead of just double but as you can see buy-ins range from 25 cent up to as much as a thousand dollars and with the exception of the five dollar buy-in and buy-ins above a hundred dollars the, the top prize, which is, I believe it is like 
one out of every 10 million chance. So it's like winning the lottery. Uh, it's uh, the top prize is about 10,000 times your buy-in. Though noticeably, the $5 uh, buy-in one has a top prize of $1 million instead of what instead of the 50,000 that you would expect. And then buy-ins above $100 have a top prize that's capped at a million. So let's now show you guys the uh, featured games on here. So this is during special promotional pe uh, features. And as I'm recording this video, you will have noticed that uh, the World Championship of Online Poker or WCOOP is currently going on right now, so there are some special buy and spin and goes in which you can possibly nab in an entry to the main event. So let's take a look at the $4 buy-in, for example. So these are the uh, prize distributions for that game, and notice how different it is. You can either win double your money, 8 bucks, or an entry to an 11 22 $50 WCOOP ticket, or the main event entry for either the medium or the high. And then you can see the probability there. And notice it's a winner take all. There are no consolation prizes for second or third in, in this version here. But all right, that is the standard spin and go. But now we've got some tabs right up here. So we've got spin and go flash. So what is that? It's basically the same as regular spin and goes, but but the major difference is that there is a lower starting chips as well as faster, uh, the, the blinds increase at a much faster rate. So it says here it's a faster paced version of spins. But let's take a look at the dollar one, for example. The uh, probabilities for the multipliers are pretty much identical as well as the prize amounts. But notice that starting chips is 300 instead of 500 and the level time across the board is one minute. Blinds start at 10.20, and then only a minute later, they increase to 15.30 and so forth. So this is an even faster version of the Spin and Goes. Then we got Spin and Go Max. So what Spin and Go Max is, is that the main difference is that the number of players may be higher than, than three. And it shows the probability. 20% uh, of games will be three players. 30% at four players and so forth with only a 5% chance of it being eight players. So the number of players drawn is uh, that, that that will be seated at your table is also random. So that will be the primary difference here. And then finally, we got Spin and Go Omaha, which is basically the same as regular Spin and Go, except that instead of playing Texas Hold'em, you're playing Omaha. Prize distribution should be pretty much identical. Oh, I noticed that the the starting, uh, the first level blinds is actually uh, lower, 510 instead of 1020. Interesting. 500 starting chips as usual. And so those are the different spin and go games that you can play here on Poker Stars. Hold'em, Flash Hold'em, Max Hold'em, and Omaha. But now let's go to this button right here uh, where you can watch games live as it happened or look at some interesting statistics like the hall of fame and recent big wins so if you click on that button in the upper left corner you will see the games that are currently going on right now that have uh, supposedly large prizes however one thing i'm noticing is that it's that it's primarily uh dominated by the high high stakes games, the $100 buy-ins. We got a $500 buy-in with a 4X multiplier playing for $2,000 right now. And then you can click the observe button if you want to watch them. Uh, here though, we have the Hall of Fame. This is basically showing the, the largest prizes won basically since this new lobby was introduced, which I think was back in June of 2023 if you're watching this video much, much later after I posted it. Uh, you can see there's a few hundred thousands. We have a $250,000 win. I'm assuming this is the $25 buy-in uh, in August 12th, 2023. You can hit the replay button and it will replay the game from the beginning. And then we got recent big wins. So 
that shows you the different uh the uh, the recent big wins from like the past week i would say two weeks it goes back two weeks shows the buy-in the multiplier amount and the prize won you had a ten thousand dollar win yesterday uh from from the recording of this video from buying a 500 bucks uh we've had a couple of twenty thousand dollar prizes a hundred times the buy-in on flash hold'em and a couple of twenty thousands at the one thousand dollar buy-in level all right so that's basically the lobby so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna switch over to the play money tab and i will be playing a twenty five thousand plate chip uh buy-in uh spin and go I'll show you guys the uh, what it looks like here. Uh, there is a difference, of course, in the prize distribution. It is winner take all. So if you land like the top multiplier, uh, it is uh, in the top award. It's uh, first place only, no, no second or third place prize. And the level time is three minutes across the board for the play money uh, spinning goes. But other than that, it's pretty much the same structure. So if you want to practice this yourself and do a play money, uh, do a play money games, uh, you've got access to all the games: hold them, flash hold them, max hold them, and home off. So let's go ahead and uh, if I hit the play now button. It should. Yep, twenty five thousand play chips. You can choose if you want to play multiple. You can play up to five at a time. Shows your available balance and how much you're going to be charged. So go ahead and hit confirm. We're gonna go ahead and play a sample here. So the price pool is determined ahead of time, and it looks like we landed on seventy-five thousand, which is triple three times. And it appears that my uh, I'm not able to toggle between. Uh, Cat, uh, chips and big blinds. I didn't <laughs> didn't realize that. Okay, so my chips are shown in big blinds here. That's okay. So as I'm playing, I'll go ahead and explain why would you want to... Uh... Yeah, and playing money games are going to notice that people will go all in quite a bit. It also happens in the small stakes real money games too. I have seen it happen before even at like $2 buy-ins, which is kind of funny. So yeah, well, why would you want to play this? Well, it is quick paced. So for example, if you are, you know, if you are, uh, you don't have enough time, God, I have nothing here. <laughs> if you don't have enough time, uh, in le you know, let's say you you are in a lunch break and you got five minutes to spare or ten minutes to spare, you can go ahead and uh, play some uh, and pl play a spin and go. And you have you know that rare opportunity to uh, to hit a win, you know. <laughs> All right, so we got top two pair here, lots of straight and flush draws. I might be, might be all in here. Let's see. Yeah, might as well put it in. He's looking for a straight. He did not get it. All right. Suited ace. Now, the one thing I will mention, too, with Spin and Goes is that there it is more volatile than, say, regular uh, sit-and-go tournaments, for example. Or 
even any or even multi even MTTs and especially cash games, uh, because you are playing short stacked, and there's going to be a lot of times where you will be all in, and therefore you are at the mercy of the <laughs> of the cards. All right, blinds are up now. Jeez. He's going to do this every time. I didn't hit any of that. and induce. <laughs> All right. <laughs> he makes his running straight on the river. All right. So that was a spin and go tournament. All right. So tell me, what do you guys think? Would you play it? Would, uh, would you avoid it? Does it fit your style? Does it not? Uh, please start a discussion in the comment section. So before I uh, leave you guys, you may notice that the uh, video has <laughs> there's plenty of time left in the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a uh, recording from my, uh, from my archive of Real Money Games uh, that I have not released to YouTube. I have... Uh, a spin and go, a real money spin and go, I'm going to go ahead and show to you guys right now. So if you've enjoyed the video, I'll go ahead and uh, uh, end, end it off right here. Uh, if you enjoyed the video and uh, you learned something, please be sure to hit that like button. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, share the video with others, and hit the bell icon to be notified once I release my next, to no be notified once I release my next video. All right, so we're going to go ahead and switch over to a real money game that I played a while back uh, when I was outside the country. Uh, it is a, I believe it is a $2 buy-in spin and go. If I go ahead and switch to the real money games, it should be this one right here. And because this was a while back, you will uh, see some differences in the, uh, the graphics, but... But uh, just let, just so you know, it is the same game that I just showcased right now. So I just want to show you what a real mini game looks like, uh, where people actually play poker. <laughs> it's all, but even even then, it's uh, it's still pretty quick. So if you're looking for that, uh, you know, if you got time to kill and looking to looking to for a quick fix of poker. And uh, you want an opportunity to win a large sum of money if you're lucky enough to spin a big prize, then this this game is for you. So we'll go ahead and switch to that right now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you for the next one. Uh, take care and go make it happen. <laughs>
Thank you. 